Hi guys, it's Charlie and I'm back with a book tag for you today. This should have been the second part to my really big book haul that I just put the first part up to. However, a couple of the books I'm waiting for haven't turned up yet. And I don't want to do like a few and then another few and then another few. I'd rather just do it in one part, so I'm still waiting for them. So bear with me and that will be up as soon as I get them. Um, so as I said, I've come on to get a tag for you instead today. I've got all my notes here, so if I keep looking down, you know why. Um, so I was tagged again by my good friend Ashley over at ACB's Got Book Excitement or Ashley's Got Book Excitement. Um, so thank you for tagging me again because I have so much fun doing these. Um, so yeah, this is the Big Five tag. And this is basically, there is five different types of... Uh, books, I guess that's the best way to put it. I want to say genre, but that's not the right word. Five five different types of writing uh, of books um, and questions about those five different things so the five different types are literature fiction non-fiction textbooks slash educational magazines slash newspaper so that's the five types um, so the first question is in order from most read to least read put the big five in order so for me it would be fiction magazines slash newspapers literature non-fiction and textbooks slash educational um yeah so question two is would you change the order if you could what would be an ideal order well i think there is no reason for anybody to change the things they read read more of something read less of something um so i guess if i wanted to change it i would have changed it before now anyway and started to read a bit more so of a certain one so no I don't think I would change the order because that's the things that I enjoy the only th tiny thing I would change is I would read a little bit more literature because I don't read enough of that and there's so many beautiful older books um yeah I, so I would definitely read a bit more literature but apart from that no I wouldn't change it so question three what do you like about each of the big five so literature what do I like about literature the writing the beautiful writing, I don't think, I mean, don't get me wrong, there is some amazing authors out there today, but I think there you can't compare it to the writing that was, because it was just so beautiful, um, yeah, so the writing, the next one, fiction, um, what do I like about fiction, I think for me, the thing I like most about fiction is, um, the ability to be transported to somewhere else and be um, like taken to something or into a situation that probably would never really happen in real life but for those few days or whatever that you're reading that book for you're taken away into that time so I think that's what that would be for me uh, non-fiction what I like about non-fiction is that it's very interesting and also it's relatable so for example say somebody has written about a book about their um abuse maybe they suffered as a child and somebody else reading that might have also suffered the same thing so you can relate to it and kind of say i'm not the only person that has been going through or is going through something like that um because often when you're in a situation um you feel you're the only person going through it. So I think non-fiction books are good for you to be able to relate to and feel as though you're not alone. Um, yeah, so that's why I like non-fiction. Number four, uh, textbooks and educational. What I like about these, again, very interesting. You learn from them, so what could be better than that? Um, yeah, that's interesting. Magazines and newspapers. I like the fashion. Um, but I also like the celebrity part of it because I think you watch people aspire to be celebrities nowadays and um because they think oh you get loads of money you do a great job and nothing ever goes wrong but more and more lately not that I want things to go wrong for anybody but more and more lately I feel like things you know are going wrong for certain celebrities and stuff and it's kind of it's nice to see that they're human, in a sense, because sometimes I think we forget that. So, yeah, I like the celebrity bits. Um, question four. What do you hate about each of the big five? 
what do I hate about literature? I think the complexity of the writing, because sometimes, obviously, the way they spoke back then differs to the way that we speak now. So, like, if somebody from that time read a book from now, they wouldn't understand it. And it's much the same that sometimes when I read a literature book, an old book, I don't understand it. So, um, yeah, the complexity. Fiction. Lots of uh, fiction. The one thing I hate about fiction is that um, a lot of the sto a lot of books that I pick up can sound almost the same. And for example, when Twilight came out, there was this whole rush of vampire books, and I just got really fed up with it. Everybody jumping on the bandwagon. So it's that thing of just too many of the same old, same old. That's the only thing I hate with fiction. Um, yeah. So yeah. Um, non-fiction um, on occasions I think non-fiction books can be a bit boring if it's not something necessarily that you're interested in in which case you wouldn't pick up the book anyway but you know what I mean sometimes it can be a bit boring uh, textbook slash education I think for you to learn something from a book it has to be exciting and it has to teach you in a way that is going to keep your attention and I think nowadays some textbooks are so boring it's really hard to learn from them because there's nothing uh, keeping you in with them if you know what I mean so I think they can be just boring and hard to learn from sometimes uh, magazines and newspapers the biggest thing I hate about magazines and newspapers is when the same celebrity is on every single magazine every single paper for about five or six weeks and in the end I just get sick of the sight of seeing them how much can you listen about one person um, so I think sometimes yeah I, they, it, that just annoys me uh, yeah um, and the last question is what is your favorite from each of the big five so my favorite literature book would have to be Lord of the Flies I just think it's an amazing bit of writing uh, I have got that somewhere, but I can... Oh, here. Um, Lord of the Flies. I love the cover as well. Um, yeah, by William Golding. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, fiction. My favourite fiction book would be Memoirs of an Imaginary Friend because I think it's a really unique concept to a book. It's told from the point of view of an imaginary friend. And I just don't know of many books that are told that... Well, I've never seen a book that's been told from that perspective. If you guys have, tell me, because, yeah, I might be wrong. But, yeah, that would be, for me, that would be it. Um, my favourite non-fiction would be a book that's called Things Get Better by a girl called Katie Piper. Now, for those of you who don't know who Katie Piper is, she is this girl whose ex-partner raped her and then he got someone to throw acid in her face. And um, obviously that is just the worst thing ever. But she is so brave and so inspirational. And Things Get Better is basically a book of how she got better and overcame things. It's almost like a self-help book. But it's really nice because it's a self-help book from somebody who really has had a bad experience, you know. Rather than just written by somebody who hasn't basically so yeah that would be that one textbooks such like educational i picked a series of books um and they're called books for dummies and so you get like psychology for dummies or history for dummies or english for dummies and what i really like about these is these are fun books to learn from they have diagrams they have little funny bits to read um and it's also you know, you could be a beginner and reading these books on these subjects for the first time and you would get really, really involved and they're easy to learn from. So that's why I picked them. Um, and there are some magazines or newspapers. I only read two magazines. Um, and that would be Cosmo Magazine and Cosmopolitan. I like um, Cosmopolitan Magazine because I like the fashion, obviously, as I said. And what I like about Company Magazine is that it's got a lot about blogging and street style and um, things like that. And I like the fact it's kind of just like your average person, like taking the photos or um, the bloggers, you know. So I really, really like that because it helps. Yeah, I, it, it just helps the average blogger who's just blogging. It helps them get more out there, if you guys know what I mean. So, 
yeah that is the big five tag so thank you again Ashley for tagging me because I love these tags um so now on to who I'm going to tag I'm going to tag um six people I'm going to tag it's a lot of people but hey you can all do it everybody do it anyway but these are just the six people that I'm going to tag so um I'm going to tag M Reluctant, Hayley Pages, Ryan Reads Books, YA Reader Reviews, Looks and Books 03, and this last one has the most brilliant name, Mr. Garson Boogaloo, Bugaloo. I hope I said that right, but I just think it's an amazing name. You guys can see it there. At the bottom. Um, I'll put their links down below anyway, but, um, yeah, so that's the big five tag, and, um, I will have that haul up for you soon, I promise. I'm just waiting for these last few. Uh, and yeah, I will see you in that video. So take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.